So you're hard at work in the wood shop. You want this, but you're getting these. Why don't my half-blind dovetails fit? This is the most common technical support call Lee Tools gets, so we've made this video to help clarify a sometimes complex problem. It helps to think of proper half-blind dovetail fit like a formula or a recipe. It's all about the right combination of the jig, the guide bushing outside barrel diameter, the bit diameter and angle, and manufacturing tolerances in your tools and the properties of different species of wood. All of these factors working together determine whether your joint will fit or not. When you're routing half-blind dovetails on a lee jig, the router is effectively guided straight in and out of the guide finger openings, while the slope of the bit creates the familiar dovetail shape. Because of the unique adjustable guide fingers on the Lee D4R Pro D-Series and Super Jig dovetail jigs, you must use a half inch diameter dovetail bit for half blind dovetails. Additionally, you must use a 7 16 inch outside diameter guide bushing, either the Lee E7 E bush set to number 10 or a standard 7 16 inch guide bushing. Furthermore, you must have a bit with the correct angle to achieve a desired and practical depth of cut. Lee utilizes five different half inch diameter dovetail bits at angles of 8, 10, 12, 14, and 18 degrees. Each different angle will give a predetermined and specific depth of cut. As the angle increases, the depth of cut decreases. Bit selection is closely tied to pinboard thickness. Measure your pinboard, then choose one of the five bits that has a depth of cut that is at least one eighth of an inch less than the pinboard thickness. Each Lee half-blind dovetail bit's recommended depth of cut and suitability for different board thicknesses is listed in the jig's user guide. You just need to make sure that you're using the correct bit for your project. If you're having fit issues, the first things to check are, is the outside diameter of the guide bushing barrel 7 16 of an inch? Is the dovetail bit diameter at its widest point half an inch? Is the angle of the bit suitable? So if you are using the correct bit in guide bushing, why doesn't the recommended depth of cut work every time? Because your tools, their manufacturing tolerances, and the properties of different species of wood can vary from project to project. So how do you adjust for that? Once you've chosen a suitable bit, the only way to make fit adjustments on a half-blind dovetail in a Lee jig is by making small changes to the bit height in the router, which will alter the depth of cut. It's important to note that depth of cut is as measured into the wood and is not cutter projection from the tip of the guide bushing nor from the base of the router. Why does slightly adjusting the recommended depth of cut change the fit of the joint? Let's run a test. We'll use a half inch diameter 14 degree dovetail bit. The recommended depth of cut for this bit is 7 16 of an inch. Let's cut pin and tail boards at the recommended depth plus two other depths of cut, one a bit shallower and the other a bit deeper. The 3 8 inch depth produces a very loose joint. The half inch depth makes a joint that won't go together. But the 7 16 inch, the recommended depth for this bit, is almost perfect. The width of the pin sockets on the tailboard is the same for all three depths of cut. However, when we measure the widest part of the tails, we can see that at the 3 8 inch depth, the tail is narrower, and as the depth increases, the tails get wider. The same is true for the pins and the widest part of the tail sockets remains the same size. What this means is that slightly decreasing the recommended depth of cut changes where the slope of the bit attacks the wood and makes the pins and tails narrower, leaving more space between them when the joint is fit together. Slightly increasing the depth of cut leaves more wood, making the pins and tails larger, reducing the space between them. So, for proper joint fit, 
Half blind dovetail depth of cut is a fixed dimension specific to each bit with the potential need for minor compensations. You just saw that bit height adjustments change the depth of cut, which alters the fit, so let's use that to your advantage. Here's how it works in practice. Simply put, raising the dovetail bit into the router produces a looser fit. Extending the bit from the router results in a tighter fit. A word of warning, the adjustments we're talking about here are minute. Raising the bit too high may damage the jig, bit, or guide bushing. Start by finding an appropriate bit and depth of cut for your project. Always route test boards first. If the test joint is too loose, pull the pins against the socket sides and make note of the gap at the bottom of the pins. Lower the router bit by the amount of that gap to tighten things up. If the test joint is too tight, raise the bit slightly to decrease the depth of cut, which will loosen the joint. After you've made your adjustment, Route new test boards and check the fit again. Keep testing and adjusting until there's a perfect fit and then route all of the work pieces at this depth of cut. Save the test tailboard that fits well and mark it with the number of the bit used to route it. For quick setup next time, clamp it in the jig as a depth of cut gauge. Proper bit and guide bushing selection and slight bit height adjustments to alter the depth of cut are key to perfectly fitting half blind dovetail joints on a Lee dovetail jig. Thank you for watching. To purchase Lee router bit sets and for more info on Lee products, please visit leetools.com.